Rakesh. Yes. Rakesh. That's correct. Jeff. You can't do anything with Jeff. Just try it though. Try it. Jeff. Jeff. I could turn it into an expletive, but I don't uh, think that that's right uh, for the show. Probably not. Probably, probably not. not. Too, probably not. Probably not. Okay. So Rakesh. That's correct. So welcome to Bootleg Books. Thank you very much. I want to ask you a question. Yes. What is your book about? And first of all, did you decide to copy me? Because I did decide to copy you. We. I actually. Um, I'm trying to be white and pure and exciting, but I wanted to befit the show. But I'm not um, white nor pure. You're no, not white nor pure. I'm, right. I'm your foil. I'm actually okay. your evil foil. Okay. Um, I'm one light shade, one shade lighter, and uh, yeah. I think maybe uh, you're a couple shades lighter. Couple shades lighter. I'm actually right. relatively light for an Indian person. I have Are to you? say. Okay. Yes. Yes. Relatively. Relatively. Um, so my book. <laughs> my book. Yes. What is my book about? I forgot why we're here. What is your um, book called? My book is called Blue Boy. Okay. And it is a book about a young. 12 year old Indian American boy who thinks he might be the reincarnation of Krishna, the Hindu god. And it's supposed to be funny. I think it's funny. And um, yeah, so it basically follows his kind of foibles and travails as this young kid growing up in Ohio. And uh, he tries to mold his life to Krishna's life and uh, kind of picks up random hobbies and, and predilections of Krishna in his own life. And then various hilarity ensues, I hope. You hope? I hope. Again, I, I assume these things happen for readers. I've gotten very good responses from people, especially young readers uh, who see something of themselves in Kiran, the main character. And so I'm very thrilled with how people have responded. And you laugh when you read it. Well, you know, that's funny because I wanted to make sure he was the sort of character who was very self, uh, self-serving, self but not necessarily self-aware because he's he's made, of, made fun of a lot by the other children. And he has to build his own kind of self-contained world where he, he participates in his own activities and creates his own whimsy, as I like to say in the book. It's a very unflamboyant book, as you can clearly tell. Um, but, uh, but I really wanted him to rely on himself. So the, the humor comes more out of how self-confident he is and how uh, preserving he is of his own proclivities and, and, and likes and dislikes. And so I think that then becomes humorous because he's so determined to do what he's doing and sometimes is completely unaware of how ostentatious what he's actually undertaking is in real life. So you're saying that your book is sort of like The Terminator? It's kind of like The Terminator. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's right. Um, except he's not machine, he's gay. Oh. And sometimes they're easily confusable, I'm Same sure. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, you know, I think uh, he... You know, there are many kids who make fun of him. There are many kind of villains in the book, teachers, other adults, and especially other children. And they all kind of get theirs in the end. So he is kind of the Terminator. He sort of just like the Terminator targets his enemies and and does away with them. He's he's, yeah. He comes out on top. So let me ask you this. So where did this whole story come from? Is it something that you experienced yourself? Did you want to be? You know, just like the Hindu guy. Well, I am. So oh, yeah. I could really draw from real life. It was like oh. method acting, really. Oh, okay. um, no, I um, I really wanted to tell a kind of untold Indian story. I wanted it to be, um, I wanted it to be funny. I wanted there to be cultural particulars in it. But I wanted to be true to this kid. And I, I, I tell people that I wrote the book I needed as a kid, but definitely didn't have. And so I wanted to situate that for kids because growing up I grew up in the Midwest in a very culturally locked part of the country I didn't have any other kind of relevance for what I felt my experience to be and so I really wanted to write something that would speak to other kids especially and then adults who had maybe lived that experience or just anybody who had felt like an outcast could see similarity in it so um, that definitely was the driving force and I really wanted to uh, you know, tell the gay Indian American story. It was something that had gone largely untold. There were things that touch upon it, but I just wanted to go for it and see what happened. And I think it came out nice enough. Great. I just one more question I want to ask yes. you. It's, it's rather serious. Hope you don't mind. Yes. Do you like popcorn? I love popcorn. Um, you know what I love, especially I, not many people try it. Popcorn with icing. If you dip it in really? icing, or if you just spread icing on top of it, it's very delicious. You have to try that. It is delicious. Okay, <laughs> good to know. Thanks a lot, Rakesh. Thanks so much for Appreciate having it. me. Thanks yeah. for welcome to uh, Bootleg Books. Oh yes, yes. No welcome. I, I mean, don't. You know. I've always wanted to be in a time of bootlegs, you know, right. and the prohibition, and I'm dressed right. like it. You, you know, are, except for my skin. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't I not welcome you to bootleg books? I'm actually unwelcoming. Oh, you're, oh, so I'm leaving now. So you can go. I'm being bootlegged. You can leave. I'm being bootlegged. Out. Bye. <laughs> Wait, well, well, oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm like shadow. I'm, 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 I'm. <laughs> Great job. So, do we have time for a couple minutes, or are we? Are we you do. You do. I'm okay, sorry. Cool. It's okay. Mm-hmm. We got like two minutes. You got, you, you got one. You can do two seconds. 
Oh, okay, cool. He's standing right there. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Rakesh. Yes. What in the world does your name mean? Well, it's a funny story, actually. For many years, my mother told me that my name meant sun, like the sun in the sky, not like I had a Rakesh, and there, now I had a daughter. But um, about five years ago, I was cooking with her in the kitchen, as is my want. And my aunt, who uh, is older than my mother, was speaking to her. And my mom said, oh, you know, because Rakesh means sun. And, so, and my aunt said, no, Rakesh does not mean sun. <laughs> and I, both my mom and I looked up and said, what, what? And my aunt goes, no, Ra is the sun. Kesh is the shadow on the sun. Rakesh means moon. It means moon, which is, it was very disorienting to me because I had gone through my life thinking I had this literally brilliant name, you know. And now I was not only not the sun, but I was the shadow on the sun. So I'm somewhat right. evil, I guess. But my last name, Satyal, means truth. So if you translate it, it sounds like a Native American name, moon yeah. truth. Moon truth. I mean, yeah, yeah. Right. I'm going to go spread my, my emotional wealth through America. So what, is, what does Jeff mean? I have no idea. A well-dressed uh, black version of Rakesh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's that's what so it means. Like the black moon truth. You're the Kesh Rakesh. You're the shadow on Rakesh. I'm the shadow of the shadow. <laughs> right, right. Good to know. Thanks, Rakesh. Thank you. All right. Cool. Got it. Okay. Thanks, Rakesh. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Thank you.